Gucci mama. She kind of looks like Alex. Alex, is that you on this book? Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday. It is vlog day. It is get things ready for the sale day and show you the sale preview day. And probably a haul. I think this is going to be a little bit more of a haul video. Kind of, I don't know, we'll see. I'm just kind of gonna try to go with the flow. I am going to go back here in the back and pull the one thing that I sold last night on eBay. It is a piece of restaurant wear. Should be on this shelf. Let's put you down and let's see where this little bowl is hiding. This is just a little McNeil, is it McNeil or McNichol restaurant wear bowl with this really pretty Aztec design around it. Don't know how much it sold for. We will go and see. Um, I think one thing that I might start doing is I might pull a couple of these things that I have listed on my eBay listings and maybe we'll just, let's try that. I'm going to show you a couple things that I have listed in my eBay store. Things that I maybe have had for a little while and maybe you would like to go to eBay and buy them. So the first thing is this little waffle um, dispenser for waffle batter. You put the waffle batter in there and then you can make waffles being fancy. So this is one thing and I will, I'll post the links and I'm so far high up you can't even see. Is that better? Okay. I'll post the links to these listings down below in the description so you can go and check them out. I also have a couple cute little planters. These are Shawnee little Asian style planters, very mid-century. They're in excellent condition. There's no, no chips or cracks or flaws on them anywhere. So they're re really, really cute and really, really neat colors on them. I'm gonna show one more thing. What's the one more thing? that I think that you guys might want to see. How about this? Because you know I like advertisement pieces. I'm gonna, oh, I just kind of knocked over the bottle. It didn't break. I'm gonna lay these pieces out that I've shown you though so I can remember that I need to pull these links up. I love advertisement pieces and I have this Jiffy shoe white bottle has the original paper label in it with a little twist off wooden cap. It still has some of the Jiffy shoe white in it, but I love the advertisement pieces on that have the paper label. The top of it's a little scratched off, but still blue and orange together. So this is available in eBay as well. So these three things are going to be the focus eBay listings. Let's, let's call it that. I don't usually plan what I'm going to say, but we're going to call it the 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 eBay items of of the video. Okay, that's what we're doing. The other thing I'm going to do here shortly is I'm going to show you some of the things that I got at a few of the things. I'm not going to show you all the things because I'm well. Here's the deal. You're going to see the things that I got at the antique store before you see the shop with me. And that makes absolutely no sense, but that's just the way that it's gonna be. So I'm going to show you the things that I bought and then on Thursday, you can see the shop with me. Will that work? It's gonna have to because I have to clear this table off these are all of the things that I bought. It was a good day. Um, yeah, so I, I, it was a good day. So I got all of this stuff from the antique mall. I'm going to show you these things now in a haul. So I may not show you everything because I have a couple little plans of things that I'm going to do with some of the things. So 
Just know I'm going to show you a partial haul. Maybe that's what I'll do. Don't mind me, I'm just going to think out loud with y'all right now. Um, I'm going to show you a partial haul, and then on Thursday, you'll get to see the shop with me, and then Friday, you'll get to say the rest of the haul, okay? That's a plan. Thank you for letting me figure out things and, and schedule things because I was confused. All right, so I'm also going to look, walk around here and show you some of the things that that will be available tomorrow in my sale and some of the things that dad has recently picked up on some of his trips. So I'm gonna do that now. So I think I've showed you some of these little, these little, I don't know if they're like little cake trays or just little, like little tea, tea cookie trays, but they're really pretty. And I think that they would be neat to put, use as a display piece. And this one is engraved rock. Ville LE 1929 and then this is one that folds up so I think I'm going to show at least a couple of these and then he did get these two beautiful brooches now these are very old and you can't really tell but it has like a faux stone in here it's not glass but it has this really pretty swirly flowers on it you can see on the back here it just has the C loop there you go clasp so i will be this is one of the things that i will be showing tomorrow as well as this one another really pretty art nouveau piece with a pink stone also has a little c clasp on it so these two these two pretty things i'll be showing tomorrow okay and another piece that we have is this is a piece of chalkware and it's an ashtray it's kind of a an entertainment center ashtray kind of but here is the ashtray part and like it looks like a little water and then you can put your pack of cigarettes here you know and then you can put your matches there and you've got you a little caddy for your for your cigarettes and your matches and your ashes this is made from chalkware, so this is something that I will be showing this week as well. And a little baby rattle. Isn't it cute? So I'm kind of lining up some of these things that I will be showing. What was the other thing? This little red gun, little cap gun, which would look really kind of cute, I think, in a 4th of July display. So I'll be showing that. And... I have a couple of these planters that dad found. This one says, congratulations, with a little baby on it. They are made Books of Remembrance by Royal Windsor. So this would be cute as a baby gift for a newborn baby or a baby shower. And this one is Christmas Season's Greetings, both made by the same company. So I'm going to show those. I have a few more of those, but I'm just going to go, I'm just going to show two this week. So those things will be some, some of the things that will be available in a little bit of a preview sale, preview of the sale. All right, so I'm going to get the camera set up so I can start doing this haul, and I'll see you in a few seconds. Alrighty, let's go ahead and I will show you the things that I got. Well, I'm going to show you some of the things that I got at the Antique Mall, and let me just say... It was amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing. And I left in, in just such a, an excited state. And I, I just found a lot of things that really make me happy. Did I find things that were going to make millions of dollars? No, but I just, I simply found things that just make me happy. And when you are able to do that, it's just fun. So a couple of the things that I show you will actually be things that will be available tomorrow. And some of the things are not going to be available yet. And some other of the things I'm not even going to show you because I'm saving them for something else. I'm being a little mysterious. Okay. So let me go ahead and show you one thing that's going to be available tomorrow. And y'all are going to be excited about it because it was a very popular thing that I had sold before. And that is this stars and bars indiana glass fairy lamp great condition no chips no cracks no flaws on it anywhere 
These are just magical things. You put your candle in there, you put the lid on, and it creates a little bit of an ambiance and glow. Um, the green ones and the ones that are figural animals, like the owl ones or Santa ones, those tend to be the ones that do a little bit better. Uh, I do have a couple of clear glass ones, so but the green ones are good. I do actually have another one that was in a couple videos ago that's just like this. It's the same stars and bars, only it is flash painted to look like amberina glass. Um, I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to do that one tomorrow. I might just kind of spread the fairy lamps out. But this one will be available tomorrow in the sale. Some other things that will be available tomorrow are some more of these soda bottles. They're fun. And I did pick these up from the antique mall. And I tried to pick up ones for people to use as 4th of July displays. You put these on your shelf and they are, they're just a fun addition to your 4th of July display. This one is Barks Root Beer, 12 fluid ounces. And this one is Big Red. Is Big Red popular where you live? Because it's popular here where I live. I don't care for it, but uh, it's a big deal. People like their Big Red down here. It's like a red cream soda, kind of, but it's not really a red cream soda. I don't know. I, I got. I did get three more of these 7-Up bottles. They're not the Bubble Girl. I think I have sold all of the ones with the Bubble Girl on it. And what I mean by Bubble Girl is there will be a little girl standing over or a woman I guess standing over here in a bathing suit and she's kind of she's in the bubbles so these are not bubble girls these are um they don't say where they've been bottled but they're all exactly the same the I have three of these seven up bottles I also picked up this is another something that would be pretty fun for a summer display and that is a whole bag of strawberries green strawberries red strawberries just lots of strawberries that you could use in a tiered tray and then this little dog look at the little dog planter now, i believe that he's probably left in or napka wear i i haven't looked any of these guys up i honestly just took everything out of the box and just laid it up here so he is in excellent condition this little i don't know what kind of dog would you be a little shih tzu maybe or i don't think he's a yorkie but he is super cute. So he will be available to find a new home tomorrow. I also got a few elephants. So I got this elephant. He's so fabulous. Look at this teal color. Look at him. He doesn't have any, well, let me just show you. He has a little bit of a, like a little bit of a chip right there and a little bit of a, bit of a crack right there. Um, but other than that, he's in he's in great condition he's so fun this cute little planter and his trunk is up so he is good luck as well as his little friend the brass oh, i said the brass pumpkin you were not a pumpkin you were an elephant where did i even think of pumpkin now on one side he's very shiny brass and on the other side he's not uh, but he's so cute. He is hollow. He isn't solid brass, so he's not going to be as heavy. But he will also be available. And again, good luck. Trunk up. All right. I have another cute planter. Look. He's a little airplane guy. He, he's very dirty. He's a very dirty planter. This one is Inarco, Japan. But I think that would be fun for like a birthday party or even a baby shower. And if you have a room nursery that you're going to decorate in like an aviation style. All right. I'm trying to show you some, because I'm, the sale tomorrow is going to, it's going to have a lot of salt and pepper shakers in it. I know. I know. I'm, I'm excited too, because they're lovely. Um, but before I show the salt and pepper shakers, I want to show you the non salt and pepper shaker things. Like this really pretty piece of Fire King jade eye it's kind of hard to see because it is painted but look at the beautiful paint job that was on there i think that i mean you could if you wanted to you could strip the paint off but i think that that would be not a very nice thing to do because this is painted very lovely the cactus 
and this is a cactus too, but the colors are just really pretty. So you could put that on a shelf and display it really nicely. So uh, this is one thing that will be available. There aren't any cracks on it anywhere. I just, I picked it up because I thought it was really pretty. So this little piece of jadeite will be available tomorrow. This, I just think that she is just precious. This little bit. Now you, if you don't like dolls, I'm just preparing you now. This is a little, it's just a little on the creepy side, but I like creepy, but hello. Buy me and take me home and make me your friend. Hi. She's just looking at you with a little side eye. She's just, just a little side eye. She's not sure about you. She's just, she's just thinking, but I love her. I love that she's just kind of worn and has a big hole in her hat. She's just like, she is annoyed and has had enough of you, but she's very cute. And she's got a little dress on. I like stuff like this. So she would be cute just sitting, you know, in a display, just giving you the, just giving you that look to remind you that you need to think about what it is that you're doing. So she will be available tomorrow. This is gonna be in honor of my pal Vinny. I'm gonna sell the baby going down the toilet. So if you want a baby going down the toilet, hanging on, goodbye cruel world, then I got you covered. All right, I also picked up a piece of Hager. This was in the video that you will see this week because remember, you're watching the haul video now and the shop with me video is gonna be on probably Thursday. And this is a piece of Hager, not Royal Hager, just Hager. It's just a really pretty planter. It has that, that really nice brush feel that I like, kind of green with some dark brown or black speckles on it. So this will be available tomorrow. I have another cool advertisement piece. That is, let me take this little tag off, this Radiant Polish Mop 10. Look at the graphics on there. So this was a mop. A mop came in this tin. How fun is that? It has the, the mop head on there. I think that it's neat. I love the colors on it. I like that it has like a visual of the mop itself. So this is a fun tin that I think would look nice in a display. So that as well will be available. Okay. And I have a couple, you know, I don't show the linens. I'm going to keep the linens a surprise. I do have a stack of them. I'll show you here. I have a stack of them ready to go. I didn't get those from the antique mall. Those are just ones that I've had for a while. All right. Now I'm going to show you a couple of the salt and pepper shakers that will be available tomorrow during the sale. So it's going to be not everything... I'm, there's going to be more than what I'm showing you is what I'm trying to say. These are just some of the things that I picked up from the antique mall. Um, so let me show you some of the shakers. These are just so cute. These were made in Japan. <laughs> they go on this little tray. Look at them. They're just sitting in the garden, just loving, getting, giving each other a nice little lovey look. Look at their little faces. I'll hold their faces up a little bit closer. But they come, there are three pieces. So they come with a little under tray made in Japan. And I like that there's like little toadstools and flowers on this little tray here. And then let's look at these little faces. Oh my gosh, aren't they precious? They're like holding their little knees and you shake the salt out of the back of their heads. They do not have their stoppers. They are marked Japan, but I think that they're precious. Look at those little faces. I have never seen this before, and the colors on this are quite funky, but it's a cow, and it's babies, and the babies are hanging from its horn, so this would be a bull then, right? It's made in Japan, but then the mama bull, she's just, you know, she's just the stand. She doesn't do anything. She doesn't shake anything out, but her babies hang. What, do you have to get them on there? Oh, okay. You have to get them on there just so. They hang from her horns. Look at them. Look at their eyelashes. So this will be available tomorrow as well. As I have a, this redware cat, fox, dog. I don't know, but look at his eyes. I'm not sure what's going on with his eyes. Cat, fox, dog. He is redware. 
and he's derpy. He's crazy, but I think someone will love him. Little Dutch boy and girl sitting on a bench. The bench is Martin Japan, the salt and pepper shakers. They do have their cork in them. This one is marked Japan. So these, they're so pretty colors for spring. So these will be available too. I did get more. I did get more. <laughs> I got a lot more here that I'm not going to show all of it to you quite yet. All right. So those are a few of the things I will be showing tomorrow. I am going to put in, let me just grab it. You have seen this before, but this is also going to be available in the live sale. This beautiful enamel pot, the really pretty uh, green trim on it. It has the strainer on the inside. So this will also be available tomorrow during the sale. At this point, what I need to do is I need to get the little bowl that was my eBay sale. I need to get that wrapped up. I need to check my emails and I need to see if I had any more payments come in from the sales. I do want to go ahead and just kind of mention that during this, the live sale, when you buy something from me, if you've bought something from me before, I will send you an invoice. I will send you an email and an invoice. You will need to contact me if any information has changed. If you have not purchased from me before, I have to have your actual name, your shipping address, your PayPal email. I have to have those things. And if you don't send me that information by the next time the sale comes around, I'm going to put it back up for auction. So just kind of keep that in mind. Make sure that you do email any other live sale that you are participating in. We have to have your information or we can't send it to you. It's as simple as that. I've been pulling uh, a few other things for the sale and I've been pulling the books and you know, the books are always, the books are always fun, right? Well, I have a couple ones. I'm going to do the, the fighting ramrod. Um, it is flaming six guns answers marauding rustlers. So there's that one. And then the mystery Raider, which is his gun was his only love until he met the flaming girl. She kind of looks like Elizabeth Taylor. Why is she a flaming girl though? This one is everything. Hoochie mama. She kind of looks like Alex. Alex, is that you on this book? It is the untamed darling. Two men and one wild girl. Apparently her name is Iris. Um, but then it says, I'm not at all sure I want to be a lady. Okay. On the back, we've got a headstrong young man and an, un an uninhibited she-imp in a conflict of sex. Well, this is a saucy, mixed saucy book. And what was the, let's see, let's look, shall we, at the copyright date on this. She was kissable, spankable, maddenly beautiful wildcat. Now, uh-oh. Unfortunately, is there, yeah, the first couple pages, it starts on page 37. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess it's good that I know that now instead of before the sale. Because that's going to definitely affect the price. But, I mean, that cover art is kind of everything. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do today is open up a package that I got from buying something from the trusty Huckster Mercantile. He has an Etsy store and he also has live sales on YouTube. I bought the, so many different things from these live sales that you get a box and you're like, I don't remember what I got. Do any of you do that? Okay, this is super sweet. Oh, I love that. Okay, so I was like, I don't think that I ordered this, but it's Santa on a soccer ball. That's pretty cute. And I was like, I don't, I don't think I ordered that. But then I read the note. And the note says, a gift for you. One of the live sale participants bought a set of ornaments wanting only one specific ornament for herself. She requested the remaining items to be given to others who bought items from me. So enjoy this ornament randomly selected courtesy of Lorianne, Lorianne Adeline. Thank you so much. 
And Patrick, what a neat little thing to stick in there. Thank you, Lori Ann. I really do appreciate that. And I'm just going to add him to my Santa collection. So he's kind of a perfect fit. Okay. Getting the other... I think this is the other top to the other thing that I just opened. Paper noises. Here is... There, it's a, like a little, I think that it had a third, probably a head of some sort. So this is the sugar and the cream, but it's got this fun little roosters on it. Isn't that fun? I don't think there's any markings on it. It has beautiful crazing on it. But guess what you could put in here? A planter or your cream and sugar. You know, you could do that too. But this is something that will be available in a live sale soon. Not not tomorrow's, but soon. Okay, so there's, there's gonna be lots of paper. I think I know what this is. And it's something that Patrick kind of laughed at me for buying. Patrick, I, I will use all of this bubble wrap again. So you packed it very, very well, my friend. Patrick laughed at this because, you know, you we see Indiana glass. We're in Indiana, we see it all the time. This is a piece of Indiana glass. It's a relish and egg tray. I think that it's cute. I love serving pieces. I like to have like parties and gatherings and get togethers and stuff. And I like to have cheese plates and all that kind of stuff. So this is just fun. I like that it's green. So this one has a card on it. Misty. Maybe I should open the card first. Thanks again for all of your help and support. Um, I picked this up to give to you back when I was visiting Indiana. That's hilarious. Yeah, Patrick and I were going to meet up. He had tickets to go to a, a show, um, I think it was Les Mis, in, in, at IU Auditorium. And with all of the COVID stuff happening, it got canceled. And so he didn't get to come down. And he said he was going to give that to me. But since our schedules never matched up, you never got it. Turns uh, there. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't that. It must have be this I'm about to open. I was confused. All right, so he was going to give me this thing. Uh, turns out to be, I just tuck it in here. Take care, Patrick. So there's a pretty card. So this is something that he was going to give me when he came to visit Indiana. <gasps> oh, look, it's the Grand Hotel. It's on the most magical place ever. Patrick, I love this. I do not have this. I love this. I wonder if this was used at the Grand Hotel. That would be special. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and get things tidied up and get things ready for the sale tomorrow. So this is kind of a little bit of a mini vlog. It's been a week, so I got a mess going on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video now. Thank you so much for watching and I'm looking forward to seeing you all tomorrow one o'clock Eastern Standard Time here on my YouTube channel for my weekly vintage sale. And thank you so much, Patrick, for sending me this stuff. I love being able to watch these sales and support my fellow resellers and get some cool stuff in the meantime. So thank you, Patrick. And make sure that you check out Trusty Huckster Mercantile's channel and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.